Hello again. Now, last week, uh, SANTF Chief General Rudzani Mapuanya talked about the success uh, to the SADC mission in Mozambique. He said the intervention force inflicted massive losses on insurgents in northern Mozambique. He said this enabled the locals there to start returning to their normal lives. Well, let's discuss this now situation with Institute for Security Studies senior researcher Liesl Lowe von Drum. Liesl, good afternoon. Thank you very much for your time. Well, it looks like uh, for the first time, actually, since the deployment of the SANTF as part of uh, that SADC mission in Cabo Delgado province in northern Mozambique, the SANTF now sort of speaking, giving us an update. I think the last time there was some public commentary was when the soldier who was killed there was brought back home. Hello, Dan. Yes, uh, thanks for having me. It is, it's a welcome change to have regular updates and media conferences by the SANDF and SAMIM, the Southern African um, mission in Mozambique. Uh, but uh, I think on the ground, uh, the situation still is uh, very unstable. The UNHCR, the UN High Commission for Refugees, have, have said just very recently that it is still not safe for people to return to their homes. So. You know, we have 800,000 internally displaced people. There are some regions around Palma where the liquid uh, natural gas uh, projects are that have now been secured mostly by the Rwandan troops, but um, it's really uh, far from secure. I, you know, it's, it would be incorrect to say that Cabo Delgado is now uh, a safe place for people to return to their homes. Yeah, but at least now South Africans have an idea of what uh, their sons and daughters in uniform are doing in that northern part of Mozambique, although the details are not full or they are not really comprehensive. But the South African Defence Force is present there, even with hardware. I, I saw on social media something about frigate that's been deployed off the coast of Cabo Delgado. Yes. The Spion Corp uh, is the frigate there that have been deployed. There's another... Um, Tanzanian frigate that um, is expected in that area. You know, South African, uh, the South African Navy has been present in the Mozambique Channel for some time as part of Operation Copper, which was originally an anti-piracy operation there. So um, the fact that there is now again uh, a, a deployment, which was part of the original plan, if you remember, in June last year when SADC um, announced the some mission there was going to be uh, a frigate and then um, several you know, components to this uh, SAMIM deployment. Yeah, as far as you, you know, I mean, there's, there's air power there from South Africa as part of the SADC mission. Now there's also the Navy, the Navy presence, and we've got the Army boots on the ground, uh, ground as well as part of, uh, of that mission. When the, when the General Mapuanya was briefing, he seemed to be saying like they're, they're, they're also targeting certain uh, leaders of, of the insurgency and they are successful. Uh, uh, have you got any information on that, Lisa? What are you picking up from your sources? Yes, it's very difficult. I mean, um, as I said, from our sources, there are still um, three distinct groups almost of insurgents. Uh, and in the areas where Samim and the Mozambican forces are deployed, um, uh, Makomia, Nangade, Mueda, those are the three districts. So Nangade is near the Tanzanian border. Where there are continued attacks, there have also been an, one ambush of the Samim troops with an anti-tank um, mine, which is very concerning. So, um, you know, we have no... Um, verified reports of any of the leadership that has been um, taken out or taken, uh, you know, um, captured by the Samim forces or the Mozambican forces. It remains um, unclear, you know, to what extent uh, you and I have discussed before, to what extent the Islamic State is continuing to um, provide these insurgents, uh, radical groups with um, ammunition and new manpower, uh, they certainly are still active in that region. Yeah, no, we'll have to wait and see what happens in the next few weeks and few months because the Rwandans are also still on the ground claiming their own victories as well. Thank you very much for your time, Liesl, this yeah. hour. That's uh, Liesl Lowe von Drums. She's a researcher with the Institute for Security Studies. Just, uh, just some thoughts about what's happening in northern Mozambique.